Hey guys, John here. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Mystic Arp in Poison because I really didn't have a better name for it. Okay, so you might have noticed why you don't see poison on here, and that's because it's not just one poison, it is going to be three. So this video is more so to show you this technique. Also, we're going to go through the patches, but I kind of wanted to show you if you ever feel restricted with one synth for whatever reason, and you want to use more of them without jumping into different layers and different tracks and all that, you can do it here in Patcher, which is a very cool concept. So if we mute these drums here, and let's just go through the pattern itself and see what's happening. On the channel itself, I just have a little bit of EQ and a limiter, so it's not too crazy. So let's turn these off just to see what's coming straight out of Patcher. So these three different poisons are doing three different things. So if we mute this one down here and mute the middle, this is going to be the first one that's going to be happening here. Now, if we look at this first one here, what's going on here is we have 16 voices of unison, so quite a bit here, and the detunes can be 10% all the way at stereo, and we're going to go a little faster through this patch here. This preset is going to be downloadable, so you can open this up in your session, but mainly the core is going to be how we have this all routed here. So transposing is going to be up 12, so one octave, and I brought the gain down here a little bit, and then we're going to be using some LFO on the panning with a sine wave at 4 4 so it kind of moves back and forth. So it's kind of swashing or swishing or whatever you want to call it through your headphones or your speakers. There's going to be no envelope here, so we can see 0% here. And then moving on to the amplifier, it's going to be a pretty slow attack at 628 milliseconds. The decay is going to be all the way at the top, sustain 70%, and then the release at 341 milliseconds. We're going to be using 50-50 for both oscillators, so A and B and a tad bit of noise at 9%. The cutoff is going to be 64, the resonance 15, and no keyboard or velocity tracking. And this is also going to be an arpeggiator. So this is kind of an important part of this patch here. So it's going to be going down on two, so two octaves at one over 16. Next up, we have a delay. So left 4-4, four, four, right 4-4, four, four, feedback 50, mod depth all the way to the top, low cut 21%, high cut 100%, and then the wet is going to be 53%. We have chorus basically default with these two knobs and then increase the wet here. So that's what this poison is doing right here. Then it's going to an EQ on itself, cutting off the low end and boosting some of these tops here. And then it's going to a fruity reverb too with these settings here. So I didn't really change too much here. So it's kind of just showing this concept but it's also going straight to the output. So in this sense, this first poison is going to a reverb and it's also going dry to the output as well. And here's where you're gonna mix these different knobs here. So the reverb, I turned down quite a bit and left most of the dry going through. So it's kind of this type of parallel type of processing. So moving on, let's mute this first one here by right clicking and then unmute the second poison. And what is this one doing? So this one's kind of doing a trance type of thing here. So this is going to be two unison. The detune is going to be 10%, the unison pan 100%, the glide time zero, transpose up 24. The gain I kind of brought up here as well. No LFO and the envelope, no envelope as well. The attack is going to be pretty close to the one before at 411 milliseconds, decay sustained all the way to the top and release at 1,375. Now this oscillator is going to be only using B, and then we're going to be using noise at 62%. The cutoff is going to be 63%, no resonance, keyboard, or velocity tracking, and it's also going to be arpeggiated as well, down at 1 over 16, but a range of 1. We're going to have some delay, 2 over 4, 2 over 4, feedback at 52%, mod depth 100%, low cut 31%, high cut 100, wet at 59, some chorus default values here, and then brought down the wet. And then this is going to be using the trance gate here. So all the way 100% wet and 1 over 32 at the same default pattern here. So that's what this poison number two is doing. And it's going straight to that reverb and then straight to the output as well. So we're not going to be doing any type of parallel reverbs here. And then moving on from this, let's, uh, let's mute this. And then this third one is going to be carrying the low end.
but it's not going to be arpeggiated as you can see here the arpeggio is uh, or arpeggiator is off right here so this one has 16 voices of unison the unison detune 10 percent 100 stereo transposed down an octave here brought down the gain as well and then the no midi the lfo is going to be at 41 percent and it's going to be on sign and this is going to be going to the cutoff here And this is not tempo sync, so this is going to be at 0 0.01, so very slow. Moving on, the filter is going to be 50% no resonance, keyboard or velocity tracking. But so for these oscillators, it's going to be a mix of A and B at 50%, and they're both going to be kind of unchanged here. No delay, a little bit of chorus at the default with a little bit of wet there, and that's basically it for this patch here. This one's going to Fruity Blood Overdrive, which is one of my favorite distortions in FL, and then it's going to an EQ after that, which I don't think I really did anything in this one, didn't feel like it was maybe necessary. What this could also do is a level control here if you need to, but you have all these level controls here, so it really doesn't matter. And then it's going into a compressor here. And it's just minimal compression, maybe here, here, just to kind of soften up, soften the sound just a little bit and kind of keep it a little bit under control. And then that's all going to the output. So if you add all these back together. going to sound like that and then the very last step here is going to be on the channel itself where there's going to be a little eq that i thought that top end was a little too abrasive brought that down just a little bit and then there's just another limiter here at the end as well just to kind of glue everything as one full thing together so with this with this patch here the downloadable version isn't going to be for poison it's going to be for patcher itself so you don't want to load in patcher within your channel rack and then open up the preset from there because it's not going to be generally in any of the poison as we can see they're all no name they're all default patches here that are changed accordingly so with that, once you open up Patcher, you're going to have these three poisons, all this whole schematics right here, which isn't too complex, but I kind of wanted to introduce the idea, if you're unfamiliar with it, that you can layer all these synths with different effects and everything to have one kind of gigantic sound at once. So if you ever feel limited or you want this, this synth doing this thing or that synth doing that thing, you can totally do that. So for example, if you like the bass from, for example, Harmer or Citrus or something, you can have Citrus or Harmer carrying the low end while there's other synths that you like doing the top end with other features that you like, which is kind of cool. So something to keep in mind, if you like the patch in the video, if you learned something, press like, and we'll see you in the next video.